Hey y'all, as you can see, I'm amongst clutter and mess everywhere because I am really purging the bedroom today. So I wanted to drop in and give you updates on foreign transaction fees because it seems to be something everyone is eager to question me about. And I actually ran into a few hiccups in the last two months. I have been trying to exchange money prior to my trip. And here's why. I like to arrive with a few local dollars no matter where I am. That's it. Because you know you have to tip people. You know you're going to have to buy something. And word on the YouTube streets, um, American Express is not formidable around the motherland. And at best, if you're looking at Visa and MasterCard, a lot of people just doesn't don't take cards. And I get that, believe it or not, because a lot of folks still don't take cards down south. So, honey, cash is still king. With that being said, you'd be amazed. My local AAA does not exchange money right now. They gave me an 800 number to call for AAA. Um, they told me, no, we do that in person. I was like, I thought so. Because when I was in Charlotte, I had to come in, order my money, show my card, sign off on everything, then come back and sign to prove that I received my funds. And the gentleman was like, yes, that's exactly still the process. I, I, I canceled my membership the very next day. Like, look, we may need roadside assistance, but we'll use it someplace else. I genuinely like AAA for the travel benefits as well. So, anywho, I'm not using it. Why am I paying for this? And again, don't forget, I'm looking to cut costs everywhere. So, for now, I've picked up roadside assistance through the auto insurance to cover all the vehicles, not just me. Um, I do like that AAA does cover you no matter whom you're with. You can be a passenger in somebody else's car and up to 200 miles. And that really does matter when I was always between someplace. But for now, I'm just worried about money, transaction fees, or something I'm trying to avoid. For whatever reason, if you didn't know, I can tell you for a certainty. For checking accounts, USAA, Navy Federal Credit Union, and Charles Schwab's certain accounts, specific accounts, not all. Whereas with Navy Federal, all checking accounts do not incur a transactional fee or foreign transactional fee or a percentage back. Your money's your money and that's that. Um, for credit cards, I know for sure Capital One, specifically the Venture, I know for certain, certain Chase cards. Again, every card that has like a travel benefit promotes this. If they're not promoting it, just call the number on the back, go on the website, or jump in a chat with the individual company you're with and find out. If you can get an opportunity to open up a local credit union, USAA, you're not military affiliated, you don't have to be. It could be Department of Defense, you could be a dependent, you could be an offspring, you could be the grandchild of someone who served and is actually holding an account there, and they can get your account open. Um, don't take no for <laughs> the immediate answer. Because trust me, Navy Federal is rough. Um, I walked in in Tacoma, Washington to open up the account. And the first thing they asked me, are you in the military? No. Department of Defense? No. I'm sorry, we can't help you. And I had to walk through them um, <laughs> to get to the next person and go, may I just please continue with my appointment? I promise I have the documents that make me eligible. So I get it. People are used to a script and they just like saying what they say and push you out the door if you don't meet the check boxes. I mean, that's like the American lifestyle. But if you can, try and shop around now to find that place. Why? Because upon arrival, I have always learned no matter where I am in the world, you go to the ATM, that's your best um, exchange rate. It just really is. I was personally trying to get some funds right now because the dollar is stronger to a few things like the Naira, the CDs, and I wanted to catch these numbers right now. Not to say it won't be great later, I'm just saying I wanted that number so I can get more for my money. However, if the banks are gonna charge you transaction fees and whatnot because like the local AAA here gave me three of the bank referrals. And of those banks, none of them, <laughs> none of them provide any of the dollar currencies, I'm sorry, not dollar, any of the currencies I need for the countries I'm going to. With that being said, thanks for checking in. This is an update. Um, the last thing on finances, transaction fees. If you can, go find a bank that'll work with you. Otherwise, upon arrival, get to an ATM machine. You'll get some of the best rates that way. Have a great weekend.